If you're writing or creating content with ChatGPT, then you need to know how ChatGPT Canvas works. That's what I'm going to cover. One problem with ChatGPT, when it generates some content, you can't easily edit individual sections. Often you have to prompt and reprompt ChatGPT to get something that you can use. Enter ChatGPT Canvas. ChatGPT Canvas is basically a new interface that makes it much easier to generate content and to edit or work on specific sections. And then to turn that content into something that you're happy to publish or use elsewhere. You can use ChatGPT Canvas basically to generate, write and edit your content all with inside of ChatGPT before you click publish. It has a number of different features which I'll cover in this video. It'll suggest edits, adjust the length of your text, change the reading level, add a final polish and even add emojis. And ChatGPT Canvas supports Markdown which is great if you're writing for the web. It's also quite useful if you like to work entirely inside of ChatGPT before going elsewhere. And to be honest, I found it much easier to use than the previous version of ChatGPT. To show you how ChatGPT Canvas works, I put in a prompt. Basically, I'm going to use it to research a script for a YouTube video where I explain what is direct response marketing. And I've written a prompt uh, explaining the topic, what I need, and also who the intended audience is. Now, ChatGPT Canvas will generate a draft script that I can review. But unlike other versions of ChatGPT, I can actually click directly into the text once it's completely generated and edit the text in question. Uh, I can also select the entire text and I can click on the icon on the bottom right hand corner and I can adjust the length so I can make it longer if I feel the script is not going to get me to 10 minutes and ChatGPT Canvas will just take a minute to generate a new version. And you'll notice on the left hand sidebar, ChatGPT Canvas is giving me uh, an explainer of what it's doing. And I still get access to ChatGPT and I can put in my prompts for ideating the content that it's generated uh, as well. Similarly, if I think the script is too long, I can click on the adjust length icon and I can change it to the shortest version. So this potentially could be quite good if I want to take elements from my script and repurpose it for email or as a social media post. If I feel the content is too complex, I can click on the reading level. So I can actually simplify the text and change it. So it's addressing somebody in middle school. So that could be quite good if I'm creating short form content. I can also change the reading level to pitch it at somebody who's in graduate school. So if I'm writing a complicated piece of content and I don't want to dumb it down or patronize people. There's also an option to add emojis. Personally, nothing screams AI more to me than a piece of content stuffed full of emojis. But perhaps you want to slam in a few emojis into some posts you've generated with AI for your social media content. Well, ChatGPT Canvas can put in a few of those for you. There's also an option to add a final polish as well. Although, to be honest, I've had more success adding a final polish myself as the editor. But this does a good job of basically cleaning up the formatting. Another feature that's quite good is ChatGPT Canvas's ability to act as a type of editor. So if you have some content from somebody else, you could just drop it st straight in. And rather than going through it yourself and figuring out what exactly you should change, you can click on the Suggest Edits button. Uh, uploaded the prompt to ChatGPT and it'll analyze the text that's generated or the text that you've pasted in and it'll give you a couple of different suggestions that you can use for improving it. So it's a nice addition to perhaps a standard grammar or spell checker that you'd use before you press publish or before you create a final version that you're going to use for your content. ChatGPT Canvas has a number of formatting tools which make it pretty easy to write for the web. So when you generate some text inside of ChatGPT Canvas, you can highlight a section and then you can put the text in bold or you can put it in italics. Or if you click on this icon, you can change it from heading one, heading two, heading three or body text. So this is quite helpful if you're getting ready to turn some content into something for social media or for your website. Now, I also use Markdown quite a bit to write for the web. On another video on the channel, I explain what is Markdown. ChatGPT Canvas supports Markdown. Suffice to say, you can create a list by pressing the star button, space, and then putting in the list item, and then just press enter to continue your list. Or if you want to put something in bold, press star twice, type in your text, then press space, and it'll automatically change to bold. Uh, similarly, you can put text in italics by using the underline or the score. And you can also basically format as H1, H2 or H3 by using the relevant number of hashtags. Like any standard document editor, you can simply use uh, undo to restore it to a previous version. So if I click on the previous version icon here, I can restore this version or I can keep clicking to go backwards or forwards and then select a version 
that I'm happy with. To show you another feature, I'm actually going to restore a previous version of this generated content without the emojis, so it's a little bit easier to edit. Now I can actually click on individual paragraphs or sentences inside of ChatGPT, and if I click on this icon, I can ask it to remove preamble and filler text. So this is quite good if you basically have a first draft of AI generated content, but you want to work on specific sections rather than putting in a new prompt and regenerating the whole thing again. I can also ask ChatGPT to insert an image with DALI. So I asked it to create an image with DALI and now I can potentially download this and I could use this uh, alongside my piece of content. Now these particular images aren't great, so I would need to be more specific with the prompts that I'm giving Canvas. It's also possible to click on the show changes button, much like you can do in Google Docs or Word and see some of the changes it's made to specific sections of your text. If you're happy, you can click copy, head over to Google Docs or wherever you're pasting the piece of content and drop it straight in. So I'm gonna use ChatGPT Canvas to help me with a Facebook ads campaign. So here's my prompt. I wanted to create some ad copy for a course that I have about starting a consulting business and I've explained who my ideal audience is. Drop that into ChatGPT Canvas and now I'll get a couple of different versions that I can review. Code it hasn't put it in the Canvas, so I'm just gonna uh, ask ChatGPT to turn it into a Canvas that I can edit. Now that it's put the three ad variants into the Canvas, I'm still finding it quite hard to read through them. Like what's the headline? What's the description text? So I'll put in this prompt here in the left-hand sidebar, break the ad text into a headline, primary text and link description, and also describe what images I could use uh, alongside my ad. Uh, so now it's put in some information about what's the headline text and so on. Still quite hard to read, so put on separate lines. Okay, so now I have version one and version two. So put, so create three more versions that I can easily use and read. So now I have five different variants that I could use uh, for my Facebook ad. Um, alternatively, I could ask ChatGPT to put into a table. Now, if I wanted to give this to a client or if I just wanted to simply put it in a spreadsheet that I could refer to, this is probably much easier because I can copy and paste the text. And of course, I can click on any of the individual ad elements and I can ask ChatGPT to shorten or perhaps I put in an emoji and remove jargon improve read ability. And then it's also giving me some descriptions of the images I could potentially source uh, on a stock photo website or elsewhere. I've also experimented with using ChatGPT Canvas for blog post outlines. So if I type in create a blog post outline, and it's kind of pleasing to see that it gives me some ideas here, kind of like what you see in Google search. Create me a blog post outline about using AI to write authentic content. Yes, I know it's all very meta. Now I'm gonna ask it to put in the canvas so I can actually work on it. Once it generated my outline, I asked ChatGPT to put it in a canvas and it actually went ahead and created an image. And this helped me find a nice little use case for it. Uh, so basically, if you've generated content in another version of ChatGPT, just make sure you select the canvas mode, which is still in beta. Uh, and then you can put back in your prompt, put the outline in a canvas. So now I have the version that I can potentially work on. And again, I can see all of my previous prompts and outputs on the left-hand sidebar. Uh, so I'm gonna highlight this specific section here um, for writers and business owners. I'm gonna ask it to give me a specific example. Uh, and basically I could work through each of the individual sections uh, one by one. Uh, and I also like the fact that again, that I can copy and paste specific sections as well. So this would help me uh, move around items in my outline. Now I could go ahead and give this outline to a writer or somebody that I'm working with, but I usually like to include a section in my outlines where that acts as a type of content brief where I talk about the preferred writing style, the language, keywords, SEO strategy, and so on. So I've described this in this specific prompt for ChatGPT Canvas. So it's gonna go back through my text, give it a quick update, uh, and then hopefully it should add the content brief section for writers here at the bottom. Uh, and now basically I could quickly review my outline, make sure it has all of the sections that I need in the blog post, and then head down to the content brief section and see if there's anything missing from my writing style guide, or if there's anything else that the writer in question uh, should include. So I was able to create this blog post outline in less than five minutes, and also add my content brief, and this could really speed up the content creation process. My takeaway from using ChatGPT Canvas is it's still in beta, so I'd expect it to improve over time, but it's great for working on specific sections of a piece of content. And it's also useful if you like to work entirely inside of ChatGPT and you like to geek out on things like Markdown. 
Now that said, I always recommend writing what AI can't. So use this as part of your research and ideation process, but then you still wanna create something that's authentic. And that means inserting personal stories or insights or recounting how you've helped your close customers or clients achieve a specific outcome. Because that way you're using AI to create something that's of good quality, but you're also creating something that AI can't generate. And that's far more, far more likely to resonate with your readers, with your audience, or with people that you're trying to sell to. So if your question is about using ChatGPT Canvas, or you'd like to see more videos like this, let me know in the comments section below the video.